The year is 1954. The newly forged state of Israel, barely five years old, stands precariously on the precipice of survival. The shadow of the Suez Crisis looms large, with tensions between Israel and Egypt reaching a fever pitch. The British presence in the Suez Canal and unwavering support for Egypt fuel Israeli insecurities, pushing them to contemplate desperate measures in the name of national security. This backdrop of fear and paranoia sets the stage for a scandal that will not only rock Israel to its core, but also cast a long and unsettling shadow on its future, the Levon Affair. During 1954, Egypt saw a power struggle within the Free Officers Movement, the group that overthrew the monarchy in 1952. President Mohamed Najib, initially popular, was forced to resign by Gamal Abdel Nasser, who would go on to become one of Egypt's most influential leaders. This shift solidified the military's control over the government and laid the groundwork for Nasir's nationalist and socialist policies. Though Egypt formally gained independence in 1922, British troops remained stationed in the country, particularly along the Suez Canal. This heavy presence and influence was one of the key reasons why Israel felt threatened. Negotiations for their withdrawal were ongoing in 1954, but tensions remained high, contributing to the general atmosphere of uncertainty. The political upheaval and continued foreign presence created a mix of anxiety and anticipation among Egyptians. Many yearned for true independence and social progress, while others feared further instability. This complex sentiment would fuel significant events in the years to come, including the Suez Crisis of 1956. At the heart of this complex saga lies Operation Susanna, a covert mission conceived by Israeli military intelligence under the leadership of Chief of Staff Moshe Dayan and approved by Defence Minister Pinhas Levon. The audacious plan, driven by a potent cocktail of desperation and hubris, aimed to destabilise Egypt through a series of bombings targeting American and British cultural institutions in Cairo and Alexandria. The rationale? To sow discord between Egypt and its Western allies, ultimately hindering British withdrawal from the Suez Canal and forcing them to reconsider their pro-Egyptian stance. Operation Susanna, however, was not the brainchild of seasoned intelligence operatives, but rather a product of political calculations and internal power struggles. Levon, a rising star within the Mapai party, found himself embroiled in a bitter rivalry with Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion. The operation, fueled by a desire to demonstrate Levon's effectiveness and gain an edge in the power struggle, ultimately became a pawn in a much larger political game. Recruiting for this clandestine mission fell upon Avram Darom, the head of Israeli military intelligence in Egypt. He turned to a network of Egyptian Jews, many of whom were motivated by a complex mix of patriotism, loyalty to Israel and a personal grievance against the Egyptian regime. Among them were Dr. Mosh Mazouk, a prominent physician, and Samuel Azar, a young student, both of whom would later become pivotal figures in the unfolding drama. The chosen targets, libraries, cultural centres and information offices were meticulously selected to avoid direct casualties, aiming instead to inflict economic damage and create chaos. However, the bombs, meticulously crafted by technicians within Israeli military intelligence, were plagued with flaws. Several detonated prematurely, injuring civilians and raising immediate alarm bells. Others failed to detonate at all, adding to the air of confusion and incompetence. The Egyptian police, galvanised by the attacks and aided by Western intelligence agencies, swiftly apprehended several agents, including Marzouk and Azur. The subsequent interrogation and torture sessions yielded confessions and exposed the intricate web of Israeli involvement. With irrefutable evidence in hand, Egypt and its Western allies unleashed a barrage of accusations against Israel, plunging the young nation into a diplomatic crisis of unprecedented proportions. Domestically, the Levon affair triggered a political earthquake. Ben Gurion, sensing an opportunity to marginalise Levon and consolidate his own power, seized upon the crisis. He appointed a commission of inquiry headed by Mosh Jaret to investigate the debacle. The inquiry, however, quickly descended into a politicised witch hunt fueled by Ben Gurion's relentless pursuit of Levon's downfall. Witnesses were grilled, evidence manipulated, and scapegoats identified. Levon, despite vehemently denying any knowledge of the operation, found himself under intense pressure. Facing Ben Gurion's relentless attacks and ostracised by his own party, Levon was forced to resign in disgrace. His political career shattered. The Levon affair, however, was not a straightforward story of incompetence and deception. Beyond the immediate crisis lay a web of moral dilemmas, conflicting narratives and unanswered questions. 
Critics fiercely condemned the operation, branding it as a reckless act of orchestrated by a cynical leadership willing to endanger innocent lives for the sake of political gain. The use of Egyptian Jews as pawns, their loyalty exploited and their lives put at risk, further compounded the ethical quagmire. Supporters on the other hand argued that the mission, though flawed in its execution, stemmed from a genuine fear of Egyptian aggression and the desperate need to secure Israel's future. They pointed to the hostile climate in the region, the perceived threat of Egyptian expansionism and the crucial importance of the Suez Canal to Israel's survival. In this context, they argued the risk, however regrettable, were deemed necessary to ensure national security. The long shadow of the Levon affair extended far beyond the initial accusations and resignations. The affair, a potent symbol of internal power struggles and political machinations, sowed deep fissures within Israeli society. Mistrust and paranoia permeated the political landscape eroding trust within the leadership and creating an atmosphere of suspicion that would haunt Israeli politics for years to come.